the latest that we are getting in, highly placed sources within the Ahmadmi Party have told us very clearly that uh, 10 to 12 members of the ED are right now inside the Chief Minister's residence. One viewers, number two, they've come with a search warrant. Number three, they're already inside, searches are being conducted. Number four, what we are being told, the Chief Minister, along with his parents, his wife and his children are inside the residence while these searches are being conducted. Now, what is interesting, what we are getting in from our sources from the Ahmadmi Party, and Munish, I want you, know, you, you to come in. The officer who arrested K. Kavita is leading the investigation. That, you know, our sources within the Ahmadmi Party are telling us that the officer who arrested K. Kavita is leading the in team where the searches are being conducted. Munish. Well, Preeti, that is the procedure. The investigative officer in this case is Mr. Joginder, who is the assistant director within the enforcement directorate. Any searches, any arrest has to take place uh, in presence of uh, Mr. Joginder, the investigative officer in this case. So, as I said earlier also, that Mr. Joginder is present at the residence of Arvind Kejriwal. The searches will take place in supervision of uh, Mr. Joginder and also the questioning will be done by Mr. Joginder in this case. And from any moment from now, the questioning of Arvind Kejriwal will start. Also, during the questioning, Arvind Kejriwal won't be allowed to take any phone call or he cannot make any phone calls. His family members won't be uh, allowed to make any phone calls. So certain, certain restrictions will be uh, uh, you know, placed uh, by the enforcement directorate. No person will be allowed from outside. No person will be allowed to leave the in Kejriwal with any document or um, um, any uh, material at that point of time. Also, the ED will go through the entire residence. They will seize documents of their interest. And end of the day, uh, Preeti, once the searches are over or between the searches, if ED decides between the questioning of Arvind Kejriwal that they have enough material to arrest Arvind Kejriwal, then they are within their power to arrest uh, uh, the Delhi Chief Minister. So it is going to be certainly trouble mounting for the Ahmadmi Party and for Arvind Kejriwal. But it is also important to point out that why ED, uh, you know, decided to conduct searches today because uh, ED was also waiting for the High Court to give its order whether any protection is being granted or not. And once there was no protection from the Delhi High Court or by the lower court, ED decided that this is the time when they can conduct searches, this is the time when they can take any coercive action against uh, uh, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. That's the latest viewers. Our highly placed sources within the Chief Minister's office are telling us that as we speak right now, a 12 member, 10 to 12 is what we are getting in. A member team of the Enforcement Directorate is inside. They have a search warrant on their person. They are going through the belongings of the Chief Minister. What we also know for sure, the Chief Minister, his parents, his wife Sunita Kejriwal and his two children uh, are there inside the house while these searches are being conducted. It's been indicated to the family that the CM will soon be questioned is what we have been given to understand right now. Um, that's the latest that we are getting in. The officer, of course, the officer who arrested K. Kavita is leading the investigation in this particular uh, raid. Uh, it is a raid. That confirmation has come in. Searches are taking place. Whether an arrest will follow, what, what we can confirm, viewers, that Arvind Kejriwal has been intimated inside, that uh, intimidated inside, that... Um, uh, he will be questioned very soon. He's just been given that information intimated inside the chief minister's residence. Uh, searches are being conducted. But uh, the latest, what we can add, is also that uh, the team is going through the belongings of the family to see if they can get any documents. Uh, there's not much being exchanged where um, the questions that the family has, so not many answers coming in from the ED. They are going about their business. Uh, at least where the family is concerned, they are being told that they can continue with what their household procedures are, is what we are being told. But the big news is, viewers, that the chief minister's house is now being raided by the enforcement directorate. Munish continues to be with us. Munish, you know, many parallels can be drawn now with what happened um, in uh, Jharkhand, Heman Surain, very similar, at least 
uh, where the ED team came into the residence, uh, conducted searches, took, took him for questioning, and ultimately arrested him. All right, we are going to cut across. We are going to cut across uh, in a short while uh, to Munish, but big news coming in, viewers. Uh, let's try and get in. Uh, 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 let's try and get in some political commentary. Joining me, R.P. Singh from the Bharatiya Janata Party. Uh, R.P. Singh, it does at least prime FSI. We don't want to add to it. But what seems R.P. Singh right now, searches being conducted at the Delhi Chief Minister's residence. Um, possible an arrest could follow, could be imminent. The same officer which led the K. Kavitha investigation leading it. Well, I don't uh, understand why you're relating the two. I mean, he's a signed officer, so he uh, he's doing his job. But it's no, sir, that it's only information that we're getting, and that's why we are relating the two. Also. Yeah, 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 please. So, uh, if he's a signed officer who's doing his job, and uh, uh, K. Kavita was a separate case, and his is a separate case. If he answers the questions, and if the uh, ED is satisfied with the answers, then probably arrest won't happen. If the ED is not satisfied with the answer and probably ED thinks that he needs to be confronted with the K. Kavita or other people who are already arrested, who are in custody of the ED, then probably they can take him along to the ED office uh, for further investigation. So let's wait. I mean, uh, only thing is that Mr. K. Jriwal has been trying to run away from this and uh, he, uh, that has been clear in the court today uh, in his application also where he said that I I'm, I'm, have been running because I don't want to be arrested. And it was Vipassana and uh, uh, the elections and the Diwali were all the lame exclusive which he tried to build on. But fact is that ultimately to Rastachar ki bakri ko pakadai jana hai. I mean, uh, he, he can't escape the charges which is leveled against him. Let's wait. I mean, I have to simply say, say that much. Uh, because this is a big, huge case. I mean, and then uh, uh, there is this money trail which has been... Uh, and uh, which has been established by ED now, and uh, there is also uh, the details of how money transferred from Southern Lobby to the Amadi Party. And I'll just quote you one example for uh, uh, collating my statement. Remember that Gujarat Rajinder Singh, one of the MLAs who was a contestant uh, okay. from the uh, uh, Gujarat, he was caught red-handed with money. Give me a second. He was caught red-handed with money. And then when he was asked where the money came from, he pointed finger towards his driver. He said, Ye angri hai. He's a man who's conduit between the Delhi uh, Amati party and us. And he's the one who's transferring money. So all that Ill illicit money was transferred for elections to various states also. 